Hey there, everybody. I wanted to touch on a couple of things that in the blog post that I've recently written about why this game is interesting and some of the thought-provoking aspects of it, uh, which makes it a little bit more interesting than your average East Front title. Uh, Fourth Panzer, as you can see, activated after the Soviet move and well after the counterattack, and they they are the only two options, uh, activities, I should say, in the uh, second turn that the Soviets are going to have. So really, all the chits that are left to pull, there's uh, three uh, left and third panzer, are, uh, are going to be kind of a, a free-for-all, except for the fact that the logistics chit is out, or is, is not out yet. So, when we looked at fourth panzer and what, uh, let's try and get the angle in here, this guy here, move the HQ up to here, uh, it was back here somewhere. <coughs> Now, my my thinking would have been completely different in terms of where I would have put the HQ and how far I would have pushed my units forward if, indeed, the Soviet move or counterattack was uh, not out yet. But because it is out, I, I know I've got a free-for-all except for uh, putting myself into either an isolated or out-of-supply condition. I won't be assessed... Uh, for being out of supply uh, until we get to the actual phase which is called the attrition phase uh, and I will get to move my supply dumps before then so I'll push these up though all these units will be within seven hexes of uh, a supply dump and therefore they won't be out of supply they may uh, they might end up being uh, isolated although that's doubtful now the way I've moved these forces but uh, I could very well have uh, pushed you know, units up into here, taken the isolated hit, but still managed to be in supply. Or vice versa, or, or potentially vice versa, I think. So there were, there, were, there were a lot of my point about all this, and it's, uh, I guess I'm having a hard time articulating this. There are a lot of choices. <laughs> How's that? Simply put, there are a lot of choices to be made uh, both uh, uh, based on when chits may come out and then what you do when you know roughly what might occur uh, in the upcoming move. Because not only are you considering factors of uh, the, the, the current uh, chits that are out and the chits that may come, but you're also looking forward into next turn. How early will logistics chit pop up next turn? What well, if the Soviets get to move first? Are they going to be able to isolate you? Uh, all sorts of uh, little uh, nuances there that uh, I quite like. Anyway, uh, probably a completely pointless video, but I thought I'd uh, record it anyway because that's kind of how I roll.